Tenstack Start is a full stack web framework with a lot of amazing features. People on the internet are loving it and it is getting more and more traction for all the good reasons. Tenstack Start is built on top of the popular Tenstack router and it allows you to do things like server side rendering, streaming and has also support for server functions. Hey everyone, my name is Herschel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your 10 stack start application on Cloudflare workers. We will look into creating a new 10 stack start application using the create Cloudflare CLI. We will also look into how you can deploy your existing application on Cloudflare workers. And lastly, I'm going to show you how you can add bindings to access maybe Cloudflare D1, R2, KV, workers AI, any Cloudflare product that you want to use in your application. So let's jump into it. Now, to create a new 10 stack start application, you can use the C3 command npm create Cloudflare, pass on the name of your application and the framework you want to use. Over here, it is going to be 10 stack start. We will install the latest package and it is going to bootstrap the project for us. After it installs all the dependencies and creates all the necessary files, it is going to ask you if you want to set it up as a Git repository. I'm going to say yes. And for the deployment, I am going to say no for now. Now let's cd into that project and open it in VS Code. In here, as you can see, it bootstrap the project for us. We have the source directory, which contains the components, the data and the routes for us. There is also the package.json file, which contains all the required packages. And there is the weed config file. Now, as you can see, this project uses Cloudflare's weed plugin, which gets configured in here. And lastly, there is the wrangler.json C file, which contains all the configuration for this application. As you can see, it has configured the name of our application and added the rest of the configurations that are needed for this project to be deployed on Cloudflare. Let's start the local server to see this app in action. To start the local server, you can run npm run dev. This is going to start the weed server on port 3000. So we can navigate to this particular port. And we have our 10 stack start project running locally. It has examples for server functions, as you can see over here. It also has an API request route where you can see all the information coming in from an API. Over here again, this is a mock API. In reality, you might want to use maybe Cloudflare D1 where you're fetching the data and showcasing in here. And then there is also an SSR demo that you can check it out as well. Well, let's close the server and deploy it to Cloudflare. To deploy this application, all you have to do is run the command npm run deploy. This is going to build your uh, project and then deploy the assets to Cloudflare workers. Now, because I have multiple accounts, I get the option to select where I want to deploy this project. So I'm going to go with my free demo account. And once the upload is complete for the static assets, it generates the URL for my application so I can visit this URL. Now you can see the same application up and running on this URL, which is deployed on Cloudflare workers. So I can go to the menu, check the server functions, refresh this, and it gives me the time from the server. I can also check at the endpoints, such as the API request endpoint, as well as start the SSR demo. Well, we just saw how you can create a new 10 stack start application and deploy it on Cloudflare workers. But what if you want to deploy your existing 10 stack start application? Let's look into that now. Over here, I have an existing 10 stack start application, which looks and feels the same. As you can see, this is the home page, which is again similar to what we saw earlier. But the server functions example is a bit different. Over here, we have a more functional example of a to-do list instead of just showing the time. 
The way I created this app was to follow the instructions on the Tenstack documentation. All you have to do is run the npm create command to create your Tenstack start application. However, you won't be able to yet deploy it on Cloudflare workers. We need to install a few dependencies and add a few configurations before it's ready to get deployed. So the first thing you want to do is install Wrangler as a development dependency. Once that gets installed, again, remember, this is going to use the Cloudflare Weed plugin. So we also need to install that. Once this Weed plugin gets installed, we need to configure it in a Weed config file. Over here, I am going to import the Cloudflare Weed plugin and configure it under the plugins. We're going to set up the Weed environment to be SSR and then add a couple of scripts in our package.json file. The scripts will allow you to deploy your application to Cloudflare workers. You can also preview it before deploying it using the preview command. And if you are using bindings, you can generate the types for those bindings using the CF type gen command. One last thing we need to do is to add the wrangler.jsonc file before we run the deploy command. I'm going to paste the configuration from our previous example, give it a name, existing tense text start app, save this as a Wrangler JSON C file. C is for just commands in a JSON file. Once we have this file as well, we can run the command npm run deploy to deploy the application. It is going to do the same as earlier. It is going to build the application and then deploy to Cloudflare workers. Now again over here, it is asking me to select an account where I want to deploy it. So I'm going to again select my free demo account and it is going to deploy this assets to that particular account. Once the upload is complete, I am going to get a URL to visit the application. And over here is a deployed URL. So I can go to this URL and check our application. Well, so far we have looked into how to create a new tense tech start application and deploy it to Cloudflare workers. We also saw how to deploy an existing application by adding required dependencies, updating the weed config, adding a few scripts, and finally adding the Wrangler file. Now we're going to look into how you can use bindings for your application. For the purpose of demonstrating on how you can use bindings in your Tenstack start application, I'm going to show you how to do that with Cloudflare D1. But you can do the same with any of the other Cloudflare products. The first thing I did was create a new D1 database calling it Tenstack to do. Once this database gets created, it asks me if I want to add the bindings to my wrangler.json C file. I select yes, and it created the binding for my application. As you can see in here, now I have my D1 database binding in my wrangler file. Once the bindings were configured, the next thing I did was use the wrangler CLI to create a to-do table in my uh, D1 database. After creating this table, I added a task, learn 10 stack start to that particular to do. Now that we have our database, the table and the binding configured, let's run the command CF type gen to generate the type. This generates the required types for our bindings and we can use these bindings in our 10 stack start application. So in my server function, I'm going to import env from Cloudflare workers. Now I want to get the data from our database in the server function. So I am going to initialize a DB. Now that we have the reference to a DB, we're going to make a query to fetch all the tasks from our to do table. Once we have all the to do's, we need to return these to do's to our server function. So if we now start our local server using the npm run dev command and navigate to localhost 3000, you can still see the same application, but if you navigate to the server functions over here, we can see that we are now getting the data 
from our database. So we have the bindings running locally. Now, if you want to deploy this application, you all you have to do is run the npm run deploy command, and this is going to deploy your application with this binding. One quick note, because we created the table and inserted the value on a local copy of D1, if you deploy it right now and try to access the server function, it is going to give you an error. So make sure you use the Wrangler command and pass on the remote flag to create the same table in production. You can do the same with the insert statement. Pass on the remote flag to this as well. And now you have the same value in your remote database. So now if you run the npm run deploy command, this is going to deploy the application with those bindings and you will be able to see the data in production as well. If we navigate back to this URL, we see the 10 stack start application and in the server function route, we will see the data coming in from the database. So in this video, you saw how to create a new 10 stack start application and deploy it to Cloudflare workers. You also saw how you can deploy an existing 10 stack start application and deploy it to Cloudflare. And lastly, you also saw how you can add bindings and use those bindings in your application. If you want a deeper dive into 10 stack start or just want us to create a uh, similar videos for any other framework, do let us know in the comment below. And again, all that I have shown is already available in the documentation, which I am going to link in the description. Till then, have fun.